Okay, we finished our first unit, the Wanderer. And I'm gonna send him here because I want to see the rest of the island. Meanwhile, we have nothing else to build, so I started doing a major wealth, which converts 34% of our production to gold. And I'm gonna invest that gold right into science. Which takes, wow, that takes away one turn of uh, gathering research for us. So we get it now. So let's see what it brings. Oh hey, it already showed... Damn. For man, autumn is a time of harvest. Of gathering together. For nature, it is a time of sowing, of scattering abroad. So gathering is a really useful thing. It gives us a couple of great buildings. We're gonna focus uh, in the beginning on the stick gatherer, then the seed camp, root tubers, and then later on on the wild mushrooms and berry bushes. But those give pretty much no bonus until you get herbalism. Wonder word is not bad either, but it's quite expensive compared to all the others. The main thing though is that it uh, shows all of these things like melons, potatoes, corn and, and many others. So let's see what this thing is. Congratulations, you have gained access to your first food resource, the prickled pear. Oh nice! Cool. So we get a prickle pear on our tile, and there's another one here. And we found melons here, banana here, and what do they have? Resin, 323, we got 422, hmm. There's also squash here. Anything else that I could, nah, okay, so just these. Melons and bananas. Man, I want the melons. 512. And these provide 311. So, free food, one production, and one gold. And these provide 5 food, one production, and 2 gold. Man, melons are the shit. Uh, what am I gonna do with you, though? What are we working on? We're using this uh, mountain, oh, hill tile, to give us one food, one production, and one gold. And it will just give us one and one and two and one. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm gonna save the gatherer all the way up till we get access to this prickle pear or these melons, and then I'm gonna send them there. But more importantly, we have to start working on this together now, and later on on the root tubers. Now, Monteverde would be. Oh my God! It would be so cool. Two, five. How much? Twenty two. I never really went for these wonders, so I, I really wonder <laughs> if I went for these wonders, how good would that end up? Could we maybe get it? Hmm. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's worth our while. But man, that would be cool. 190 turns the home. It's actually quite a requirement. Okay, there's nothing here. So I'm gonna send the Wanderer here. And I think there was this... What was it? Barn Owl? That killed our Quabman somewhere around here. So our Wanderer will hopefully deal with that. The question though is if he's going to be able. Because they got Brutes, Stone Throwers and more Stone Throwers. And I'm not entirely sure that it's a wise thing to send our wanderer so close to them. It might not be. But on the other hand, who knows. Anyway, one more thing that I wanted to note before I go off cam again. And that is, once we get the cave dwelling, which is a technology that is quite necessary from all civilizations. Yeah, man, game. And loading up these technologies takes forever. Come on. Okay. We're gonna give Twill Cave Dwelling uh, as a seventh technology. Cave Dwelling, though, should give us access to 
the Neanderthal culture, if I'm not mistaken. Or wait, it seems I am. Or is it the shelter building? Oh wow, now I'm confused. I thought it was cave dwelling. Oh yeah, culture Neanderthal. Requires stone in... Oh, stone in the vicinity. Requires culture caves. Replacing... Housing homeless. Well, it seems like we can build Neanderthal caves, but we can't build... No, we can't build Neanderthal culture because we don't have the stone. But there might be stone still, we haven't discovered it yet. But if we can find stone in city vicinity, we will be fine and we can build the Neanderthal culture. If not, well, that means we won't be able to do that either this time. And getting Neanderthal seems really hard. Plus they really should explain it better in the menu. Now, imagine this is really still like a very... Oh god, I want you. I want to kill the barn owl. And there's nothing else around. 71% chance if we attack it. And this gives us 25% bonus as well. Okay, let's risk it. Oh no, you bastards! There's a brute here. God damn it. God fucking damn it! Oh wait, we did it! We killed the Barno! And we gained Gorilla 1. 25% health defense, 25% peak defense. Plus 2 to subdue animal, minus 2 to hunting kill. Okay, this seems like good enough thing for me. I'm just gonna bag it here and go back. No subduing animal, no subdued animal. Which is kind of sad, because subduing animals is good, I mentioned that in the first playthrough. It gives you uh, extra bonuses, culture and science for your civilization, but... Yeah, well, these hunting units, despite being much more efficient in hunting, they just give a 2% bonus. So, that's not such a high chance, they originally have like 10% to subdue. And if you have a hunter, that's 12%, so not much there to desire. Or there, it leaves a lot more to be desired, but I guess. Are you gonna come or not? Come on, maybe. But the gorilla is going to be really useful later on. I mean it. Well, there's no chance in how we would win this. 1 versus 180. Plus 30% strength and plus 50 from tower defense. So, all of my nope. But, I might want to sneak around and try to get to here. Though, I think there might be more enemies in this area, so I'm gonna be super cautious. This has bit me in the rear before, me trying to, you know, get too ahead and getting swarmed by barbs, so that's not really... I'm not gonna do that again. I'm just gonna conserve my strength and see what I can see. Okay, this tile gives 50% defense, so I think we might be okay in going there, but that's as far as I will venture. Okay, nothing. Nothing at all. And the stick gatherer is almost done. Cool. We're gonna get some sticks, guys. Later on, we might use those sticks for stick relating buildings. <laughs> but yeah. So, you guys will go back to the city, and I'm just gonna Hold on to you for now. Okay, it's together almost. I'm gonna burn through the turns till we get language, and I'm gonna pause it and skip to the next technology being discovered. 
come on, go. And hold. Yeah, the unhealthiness is really awful. Damn. Okay, so together is finished. Now I'm really thinking about building this. What's it called? Monteverde. Damn, I really, really would like that. 157 turns. That makes it much more accessible, but. What's the next thing? Rutubers. Gives a bit of food. It's actually completely useless for us at this point with this amount of unhealthiness. What does language do? Enables native language, can construct community discussion, wonder of nature, wonder of nature. Anything that we as us can build? I wonder. Because Mont Word might be a pretty good thing for us to do. Hmm. Technologies, language. Hmm. Community discussion, that's a good one. Wonder of nature, wonder of nature, wonder of nature. Wonder of nature. Okay. Okay, I guess nothing. Well, that would suggest we stick to the root tubers for now at least. And then the seed cam. And then maybe the storage pit because none of these are especially useful for us. Oh fuck, that was a bear. An Oregario? No, I think that was really a fucking bear. It seemed like a bear. A cave bear to be precise or something like that. Yeah, brown bear, strength free. Okay, there's no way in hell we can defeat this thing. So just stick to where you are. This volcano has quieted down. I don't see any volcano anywhere. Language. Is coming to us this summer. The society can now implement the civic native language. Let's see the big picture. Civics are one thing that I really like about this game. Uh, they expanded the original civic system to incredible lengths, and we will now move from no language to native language. There's also trade language, interpreters, language education, world language made by globalization and universal translator in all cities. Yeah, let's do this one. Let's have a revolution. Not only the vehicle of thought, it is a great and efficient instrument in thinking. Plus one happiness in all cities and that's about it, right? Yeah, now we're working on cooperation. And cooperation. Childcare hut, what knows that? Um, we can't build any of these unless we get shelter building. Look out post. Yeah, these things require shelter building too, though. Except for knowledge inheritance. Myth of antelope. Creation of myth. Hmm. Well, I'm doing what you guys suggested, so we're going to see how that works out. Okay, we finished the root tubers, now working on community discussion. Arguably this uh, was a priority and I could have cancelled the Rutubers, but there were just 3 turns left, so it doesn't really matter. 21 turns till we reach cooperation. However, we have a situation here. We encounter a sloth bear, which is located here, and there's no way in the hell how I can retreat my unit. I have been just moving it around, you know, there and back, trying to keep myself occupied. And now this. So, I think that the soft bear, because it has a strength of 3, has a decent chance of winning. 
if we attack it. Actually, we can check it. Yeah, it has 78%. However, we are on a tile that has 75% bonus to defense for us. So I'm hoping that maybe we have a chance of somehow surviving this. Oh, he didn't attack us at all. Well, okay, I take that as a sign that I should retreat. Seems like a good sign to me. Their wanderer is coming. Hmm. I'm gonna hold here in case they want to play. Oh, they do want to play. Nice. We killed their wanderer. Okay, well, now you need to. Well, actually, you are almost fine. You didn't get hurt at all. Interesting. Hmm. Now, what are we going to do with the salt bar over there? We want to risk the unit. Oh, subduing the soft bear would be so cool. Mm, I'm gonna do... I would tap dance around this and just go here for now. And check if there's something we can subdue over there. Okay, there wasn't anything over there. But I move back and turns out they got another wanderer ready to attack me, so I'm gonna fortify here and just hold on against another possible attack. I wanted to lure the sloth bear into attacking me, but seems like we will have enough of other action here. Nice. And we didn't even get hurt. <laughs> Do you have more wanderers somewhere? I don't know. Let's try the soft bear for ourselves. If we could kill that, that would be outstanding. I don't see any brown bear, gario, stone thrower. Okay. Let's see, can the soft bear attack us or is it just too slothy? Oh no, it isn't. Oh, come on, please. Oh, nice! We killed it. You are a hero we need. And... We've been promoted to combat one in battle. Wow! Post and strength. Cool. Okay, now it's time to rest, little wanderer. You are the hero we need, not the hero we deserve. Where the hell are these units coming from? They have seven brutes now! Holy fucking crap! This is just insane! Hmm. And they, I'm pretty sure they get the better part of the island here. Though it seems, you know, that it's ending there, but... Is he gonna jog in? No? There's always a guy coming and jogging from somewhere. I like how he just like, wait for me. Nothing. More stone throwers, more brutes for everyone. Why can't... Is, is this area somehow hard to reach? I don't know. Let's check out the rest of the island. Cooperation will be done soon, so I'm just gonna uh, keep recording. And once it's done, we'll move on. Man, this area seems really barren. Just some forests. I'm not even sure if uh, this forest gives us something. Yeah, still nothing. So you can just go back and rest there. But yeah, that plus 10% strength is kind of good because that gives us oh, a pretty decent bonus 
That's uh, 1.1 in normal situation, 2.2 against animals, plus the defense. So, for example, here we're almost at strength of 4. Oh god, a vicious storm has came. It's too dangerous, don't go outside. No, it's raining. It's raining. So here comes cooperation. Let's see what it's gonna tell us. Every kind of peaceful cooperation among men is primarily based on mutual trust and only secondarily on institutions such as courts of justice and police. You speak the truth. So the case uh, gives us Child Care Hut, Wet Nurse Hut, Omega Child Crew, and Lookout Post. None of which we can actually build at this point. We can build the Lookout Post, but that just lowers our money significantly. Increases defense though. No, actual owner against explosives. Hmm. And that river isn't much else I would like to but I'm thinking that we might just start the work on Mont Verde and just hold on to it you know without much trouble but on the other hand we might do meager wealth or major wealth and increase our science hmm. 157 turns that's a biggie but you know that actual thing that we would get when are we gonna get the things from uh, when are we the question is where are we when are we going to get herbalism? Because if we're gonna get it soon, I think it might be a good time to focus on the things that are not really useful at this point, but will be useful when we get herbalism. Scavenging bakery. Herbalism is the ninth technology for us. Our tradition, then it's scavenging, which gives us pygmy warriors and a couple of things. Plus one with cooking, then it's persistence hunting for us. Chaser, master hunter. Chaser, I think, has only a bonus against wild animals. Yeah. Tracker. Wanderer has a hundred percent right. Or are you wonder? One one wonder. Yeah, he has plus hundred percent. Hmm. Well, I want the or tradition. What next, though? I could go for cave dwelling next. Because that's going to help significantly. Upsuit of sedentary lifestyle. Meadowcraft rock shutter. How is that? One Sinai. Nope. We had that one thing somewhere. I guess it's from gathering. Yeah, 781. We might want to get this one, maybe, Meadowcraft Rock Shelter instead. I'm not, I'm, I'm iffy on this. I'm a bit iffy on this. Mm, let's go with our tradition and then if I went for persistence hunting just like this, that scavenging, which is arguably really good. But we need shelter building and cave dwelling as well. So, or tradition, if I exit this, it should remove those uh, other. No, it doesn't for some reason. So, or tradition, then herbalism. Maybe wild herbs. It would be another 39 turns. And then cave dwelling. And then we can go for. Persistence hunting and tracking and hunting. Now what about tool making? Where's 
culture Neanderthal. I don't think we can get this. We don't have yes, we don't have stone. What reveals stone though? Is it scavenging? No. Is it tool making? No. Cooking control fire cave drawing maybe? Nope. Weaving scavenging. I have to admit I don't know. Shutter burning. Hmm. Not entirely sure. One of these things has to reveal it. Let's just focus on oral tradition and then uh then we'll see. <laughs>